Hello, my name is Anastasia Stobbs. I work for the Office of International Students and Scholars, and I'm one of the international student advisors. I wanted to be the one to represent our office in this video and let you know a little bit about us. Our office is located at building SSCA, and we are up on the second floor right across from financial aid. Our executive director is Mr. Ross Bryant. Our deputy director is Mr. Jason Lawrence. My name is Anastasia Stobbs. I also go by Tess Stobbs, and I assist students whose last names start from A through J. Our other international student advisor is Michael Furr. He assists students whose last names start K through P. And lastly, our third advisor is Leslie Houston. She assists students whose last names start from Q through Z. Our office is the one that helps all international students and we assist them from the minute they come to the United States. The International Admissions Office is the one that starts the process of admission and they issue them an immigration document which is called an I-20 and this is used for them to obtain a visa and to come to the United States. Once they arrive in the United States, they come to us for check-in and all their needs. We assist them with documents, we assist them with any needs they have here, whether it's uh, finding room and board or any other issues they may have, and we assist them with compliance and making sure that they maintain status. If you have any questions or you have an international student who is not sure what to do, always refer them to our office to check with us first. Our main line is 702-777, I'm sorry, 774-6477. And our website is unlv.edu slash ISS. Uh, real quick, what is an I-20? An I-20 is an immigration document that they need to show legal status here as an F-1 visa holder. An F-1 visa is given just to students. Um, students have to uh, be enrolled full-time, 12 credits for undergrad, 9 credits for grad school in order to maintain status. They have to be enrolled full-time during each semester, spring and fall. However, in their last semester of study, they are permitted to uh, be less than full-time because sometimes they have completed most of everything and they only have one or two classes left, which is fine. They only need to fill out a proof of graduation form with our office, which is completely separate from the admissions office. And um, that's about it. If you guys have any questions or you would like to introduce yourselves, please feel free to come to our office. We're here always Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Looking forward to meeting everybody. Thank you.